are we? Lovely. Are you excited? Yeah, definitely. So we're just going to give your skin a bit of a clean. Obviously, it's really important to start with a nice, fresh, clean skin. So this is just a, a micellar water. Have you heard of it? It's just mm -hmm. like a you can, you can grab it in any any um, boots, chemist, super drug. You know, it's quite quite a common thing. Just going to clean the skin and just like make sure we have a nice base to work with. Do you do any skincare or anything? Uh, yeah, I do in the morning, sort of cleanse what? and toner and moisturiser. Oh, so that's all right. So you do do something. So you do bother <laughs> skin, a little, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but you have got really nice skin actually. So yeah, it's obviously working. What product do you use? Um, there's a, a Nivea cleanser and toner, and then um, I like the simple moisturisers, things mm -hmm. that are unscented, really. Yeah. So have you got quite sensitive skin then? Mm, yeah, especially under my eyes, it gets pretty dry yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do um, a little spritz, and then we're gonna start with your eye makeup. So I was just gonna do a little spritz. I'm liking this little stall action. <laughs> okay. Just close, keep closed. That's just to freshen the skin, tone the skin, and make you feel all nice and refreshed. Mm. Does that feel okay? Mm. Okay, so now we're going to start with an um, eyeshadow primer. Have you ever heard of an eyeshadow primer? I've heard of them, but I've never used one. Right, okay, so basically, we're just going to take a tiny bit on the back of our hand, and we're going to do the eye makeup first. Now, don't think I've gone mad. I haven't gone mad. We do the eye makeup first because then any eyeshadow we use tends to, if it's loose eyeshadow, you're going to get droppage. So when droppage falls onto the skin, it's going to ruin your base. So we want to start with the eye makeup. We can clean underneath your eyes. Why would you do your foundation? Have it looking beautiful, then put your eye makeup on, then have it all ruined by all the droppage. It just gets messy and they start smudging, you get Q-tips and cotton buds and you're like, ah. So anyway, so we start with the eye makeup. And we're literally just going to use this primer and we just literally sweep it all across the eye from the lash line right up to the brow bone and right up to your eyebrow, right up to here. So, okay, so we've just literally swept the eye shadow primer all over the eyelid, again, right down to the lash line. And this is just going to set your eye shadow so you don't get no creasing and no movement. You know, sometimes, like, you apply your eye shadow, it's looking all gorgeous. You've literally, like whizzed around your house, you know, let the dog out, you know, had your breakfast, fed the cat, get, got your keys, and then you're out the door and it's all smudged all over the place. Mm. This is going to set the eyeshadow and make it nice and crease-free. So literally, again, does it, does it feel all right? Mm -hmm. Just let me know if it feels weird at all. So, right, you've got your eye face on, and now we're going to start with a little wash of colour over the eye. Again, you said you, you didn't normally wear a lot of makeup no so tell me again what what does that consist of what does your makeup bag actually consist of if at all anything um it's a little thing so a uh, tinted moisturizer is, yeah. is a base for me and then a uh, liquid eyeliner and a bit of blusher and that's that's mostly it some under eye concealer as well Oh, so you do actually, you can do uh, your own liquid liner then? Yeah, that's the one thing I can do. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, that's... Because that's actually one thing that a lot of people can't do. Mm. A lot of people struggle with that. So you, you have got some sort of... Yeah, I think eyeshadow is the big mystery to me, all the sort of layers and, and things. Yeah, so. okay, we're going to keep it quite soft, keep it quite natural. So I've just got that, this little nude sort of base colour here, it's got a little something to it, but it's not too heavy, it's not too OTT. And again, so what we're gonna do is take our brush and just sweep it along the eyelid and just sort of light motions, nothing too heavy. What I always tell people, you can always add, it's harder to take away. So just do little and often, little and often, tap the back of the brush and then just place all over the eyelid and just nice and soft, don't go too high. So you know where your socket line is, mm. yeah? So that's the socket line right in there. So you don't want to take this eyeshadow any higher than that because you look like you've walked out of an 80s video. Yeah, I think that's the issue I've had in the past. Yeah, don't go too high <laughs> up. So we're literally just going to blend that all over the eye. And it's a really soft, natural colour. Do you, do you own any makeup brushes or are you, is that a silly question? <laughs> um, I have one big one to put the blusher on, but not smaller ones like this. You have one big one. <laughs> we maybe have to get you to invest in some makeup brushes. We've blended that eyeshadow all across the eye. How does that feel? Fine. Not too heavy? No, yeah. I can right. blink still. 
I'm going to take a nice um, soft brown pencil. And like I said, we're going to go for these like warm, like neutral autumnal um, browny tones because of the colour of your hair and the colour of your eyes. We're going to really like make your eyes pop. So literally, we've just got the pencil and we're just going to go right along the lash line mm -hmm. and we're just going to fill in and get some diff definition on the base of the lash. Try and keep it as close to, as, as you can to the lashes because you don't want no gaps between where skin joins the hair of the lashes. Mm. So you just keep it nice and close. You're probably, it, does it feel like I'm even drawing on your eyelashes? Yeah. So that, that's how close you've got to get it. And again, you can be as like heavy handed as you want. We're not doing some sort of precise eyeliner thing here. We're just doing a wash along the lash line. So with the pencil, just nice and smudgy, just right get into that lash line. And again, if you were doing this yourself, then all you would need to be doing is you could push your lashes down, look obviously in the mirror and, and do it yourself like that. And then obviously again with the other side. Mm. But then I'm gonna take my other little trusty brush, which you don't have, which we're gonna sort out. And then just put in the back, on the back of your hand a little bit, and then we're just gonna blend it along the lash line. So this is where you get like that sort of smoky effect. Mm. So you literally just, so you've got no harsh lines with this. So the creaminess of the pencil will now blend into the tan base colour that we applied originally. And this is where you're just giving it light little flicks across the lid, across the lash line, and just making sure it's no... You don't want to see the where the line has formed. Do you know what I mean? So mm. you've got the base of your lash, and then you, it's just wiggling up into the, into the original colour. So we just do that, and again nice and soft and if you feel like you've got any patches missing you just take your pencil again and again you just fill them in so it's really quite really quite easy when we like sit in front of the mirror i think the common thing for people to do is like using you know using makeup to mask you and it's sometimes like you get you know people will tend to like hide behind makeup and that's why i think that people get it so you know so wrong really mm -hmm. makeup shouldn't be used to mask it should be there to highlight and define so you want to bring out your own features rather than going i want to look like such a body i want to be like such a body you can use the techniques of like that color eyeshadow that she wears or that she, the highlighter that you like on her or any of those things but actually when it comes to um yourself you need to then adapt it to how it suits you because you need to highlight your features and you need to highlight you and bring out the best for you not hide behind it like your big earrings wiggling about and the time distract you need to highlight not distract <laughs>